Hello everyone, I am Kimo Anojam and I am your physics teacher. I feel blessed and privileged to be the one to take you on this exciting adventure. In the course of the next one year, we are going to explore the natural laws that govern the universe. Most especially, we are going to study the physical laws that govern motion. Physics is the most fundamental of all the sciences. It is the study of the natural world. As a matter of fact, it seeks to understand the natural laws that govern the universe. For this very reason, it is a fundamental requirement required for students who want to get into medical school or any engineering college. It is considered to be the most basic and the most important of all the fundamental physical sciences. Though challenging, it is very fun and very practical. Therefore, I am looking forward to this opportunity to get to share with you experiences that will help you to understand the fundamental concepts as well as to be able to apply the principles in the solving of problems. Now, when you are to take a journey one of the most important requirement is to know your destination because with your destination a lot can happen if you get lost you can navigate back onto your way on your way to the destination so it is important for me to take time to state the overall objective of this class. In other words, this lecture, the objective of this lecture is for you to understand the overall vision for this class. Because everything that we will do in this class will be governed by the vision or the overall goal of this class. Therefore, it is critical that you understand where we are going to. To make it simple, there are three major objectives of this class. Three major objectives of this class. Now, I will not overstress this. Consider me to be your GPS and this objectives to be our destination. If along the way you fall out of path or maybe you miss your exit, it will be easy for me to redirect you back into the course so that we can all get to our destination. Even though I am the driver, still you have a role to play for us to be able to get to our destination safe and to achieve our results on time. Therefore, it is very critical that we function as a team where every team member plays his or her role adequately. Therefore, we are a family and we must work together in order to achieve our goal. The very first objective of this course is to prepare you to take the AP Physics Examination in May 2016. In other words, the first overreaching goal for this course is to help you achieve a 5 in the AP examination. Hence, I'd I, I like for you to write down these three objectives. In other words, write down these three vision statements because they will guide you and they will guide me as your teacher to help make better decisions that will drive us towards this destination. So the first goal is to help you score a 5. Therefore, it will be your determination with my guidance to score a 5 
in the AP physics examination. Now, the second objective is to help you develop your creative and thinking skills by solving problems. Now, remember, it is to help you develop your thinking skills by solving problems. Now, creativity and critical thinking are two different things. To be creative means to be able to innovate. In other words, creativity is your ability to develop original ideas that matter. Your ability to come up with something new or to modify something already existing that will benefit mankind. Now, critical thinking is your ability to recognize difference. Critical thinking is your ability to see a pattern. Critical thinking is your ability to see a relationship that exists where it seems to be chaotic. So, one of the main objectives of this course is to help you develop, improve on your creative nature as well as develop your critical thinking skills. And we are going to achieve this by doing a lot of problem solving. This is very important because our class will be restructured so as to provide time for problem solving. In other words, we are going to lecture less and do more of problem solving. That is why this class is blended, otherwise, uh, or flipped, where we do very little lecture and much more guidance and much more problem solving because it is only through problem solving that you can adequately develop your creative and critical thinking skills required to succeed in this course. Now I must also mention I must also mention that physics is like sports meaning if you do not practice it doesn't matter how naturally endowed you are it doesn't matter how naturally gifted you are. If you do not practice, you will not succeed. This explains why memorization doesn't cut it. And I'm going to explain to you soon why memorization is so discouraged in AP physics. As a matter of fact, the college board has redesigned the curriculum so as to minimize memorization as much as possible it is important but not that important it can only take you so far in a little bit you will know why so bear in mind if you want to succeed in physics i have a magic formula for you encoded in three words practice 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 remember practice Practice, practice. So a majority of the activities we are going to do in this class is to expose you to as many problems as possible and to afford you with the opportunity to practice, practice, practice. And this is part of the physics that it makes it fun because you get to solve problems. You get to investigate problems. You get to discover laws that actually governs stuff. You get to build and destroy stuff. It makes the course fun. Now, the third objective, the third objective of this course is to help you comprehend the core concepts and principles of mechanics so that you can be able to apply these concepts and principles in analyzing and solving complex problems. 
in analyzing and solving complex problems. Let me say that again. The third objective is for you to understand or comprehend the core concepts in physics so that you can apply these concepts in solving complex physical problems. Now, you begin to realize a pattern here. Physics deals with application. And for you to apply, you must understand. And for you to understand, you need to know. So, the process of learning occurs basically in three steps. Step one. Step one is for you to know. When you know, then by the process of problem solving through practice, you comprehend or understand. When you understand, you are able to apply what you have learned. So remember, you must know, then understand, then apply. And physics is the application and synthesis of knowledge to solve human problems. To do this, to do this, We practice, practice. I cannot overemphasize the importance of practice. So a majority of this class, as a matter of fact, more than 80% of this class will just be practice, practice, practice. Will just be practice, practice, practice. Now, um, if you look at the three objectives, two words are prominent. Analyze and solve. Analyze and solve. Now, the reason I want to take some time to explain these two words is because they have a special meaning in physics. Now, in mathematics, which most of you have already done because that is the prerequisite for this course, the word analyze and solve mean something else in math when you are given a problem what do you do you look for the right equation when you find the right equation you plug in numbers then solve to get the correct answer what does this mean this implies that if you memorize the right equation then you can almost always substitute and get the correct answer. This particular methodology works for math, but does not work for physics because it promotes memorization. Physics, on the other hand, is the application of mathematics in the solving of human problems. You, for you to apply you need to understand the concepts. For you to understand the concepts, you must first know the concepts. You must first know the concepts. Now, understand this. To analyze and solve infers the ability or infers your ability to recognize meaningful relationships. It infers your ability to recognize meaningful pattern of information and to be able to draw experimentally testable conclusions or hypotheses. Understand that critical thinking requires intentional observation and experimentation. This means that in order for us to be able to draw conclusions or recognize a relationship or a pattern within what seems to be a very chaotic universe, we must first possess, we must first have a deep 
conceptual understanding or insight of the core concepts and principles. Now, in physics, we call the core concepts and principle content knowledge. It means we must first of all start with content knowledge, understand the content knowledge, then apply the content knowledge in the analysis and solving of complex physical problems. So it goes back to practice, practice, practice. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, my overall goal for you in this class is to help you begin to think like a physicist, is to help you to be able to develop a systematic approach in the solving of physical problems. As a matter of fact, there is a right way to solve a physics problem and there is a wrong way to solve a physics problem. Now, the right way is systematic, it's intentional and must be planned. For you to be able to plan, you must understand the concepts and for you to understand the concepts, you must know the concepts. So to wrap up the lesson for today, keep in mind there are three vision statements or overreaching goals for this class. These statements will govern every decision, every problem, and every activity or lab that we will do. And therefore, it is critical for you to understand and be able to articulate this statement. The first, the first, to help you score a five in the AP examination. The second, to help you develop your creative and critical thinking skills by solving problems or through problem solving. And the third, to help you comprehend or understand the core concepts of physics and be able to apply them in analyzing and solving complex physical problems. And to end this short lesson remember the magic key to open the gate of success in physics is practice 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 now our next video and our next lesson we are going to summarize everything that you will study in AP physics under 30 minutes in other words, I'm going to give you a preview of what is to come. Uh, similarly, when you log in an address on Google or on your GPS, what happens? It gives you a preview and help you decide the route that you will take. And you consider things like, you know, your destination, um, your fuel, your time, and possibly places along the way that you will see. So our next lesson will give you the overall big picture of what is to come. Therefore, it is a very important lesson that you need to prep yourself for. It will, it will actually summarize everything that we will do in AP Physics under 30 minutes. And it will talk about the fact that the content knowledge is organized around big ideas, which are then categorized into models. Now, by looking at these concepts in models will help you to easily see the relationship that exists between these physical quantities. Therefore, I'm looking forward to the next class myself. Thank you and uh, see you next time.